Hey Steve, I'm going to disrupt my own calm breathing pattern after watching your video. Um, to elaborate or add some info to what you're talking about, the Ben check, breathing energy. I was thinking N is narcissism. It's probably because I'm looking at myself on video while I'm talking. Um, the now, being in the now, breathing energy now. Energy is kind of um, scientifically vague. It means a lot of different things. When I think of energy, I think of electrons and like the amount of electrons in a system, plasma, like the, the concentration of, the pl of a plasma cloud in a system, which is a state of matter. There's four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and the plasma is an electron cloud offset by positive forces like atoms and things. But it's the like noticeable pockets and streams of electrons. Okay. That being said, I looked into a little bit of why breathing, well, I kind of stumbled onto it. Why breathing was, uh, like I always heard breathing was good. But for me, until I know lo logically or like until I have proof of why something is good, I don't buy into it. But once I I see that other people have studied it and done some technological breakthrough with it or whatever. Excuse me. I'm a little more comfortable with it. And when I found out about the oxidation process and the reduction process and how they relate to breathing, I was just awe, awe inspired, baffled and awe inspired all at once. Um, oxidation is rust. It's rusting. But in the human body, it's when... Oxygen, you breathe in, oxygen comes into the system, two of them, and then an electron adds on and the oxygen and the carbon meet and become carbon dioxide, and then they leave the body with that extra electron. So these electrons that enter our body, we breathe them out. And... That's like, I mean, then there's there's the reduction process, which which is methane production, which is carbon and four hydrogens, and that's common too. That's when an electron leaves, and the carbon and the hydrogens bond. So, either way, it's like electron dispersal, dispersion, because like electrons. And energy is flowing through us, our bodies, literally. Like, it's we're porous on that level. On the on the molecular level, stuff passes through us and can get caught up in us because we're like magnets. We got all this water and spinning, like these conduits of spinning energy, of spinning. Tension, however you want to look at it, it's causing us to sustain in place. So electrons can pass into our system and get held there. And if that happens for too long and you're not breathing consistently, breathing out consistently as much as you're breathing in, like just breathing out, all that consistency in and out. the electrons can get caught there. And so if you're not breathing as consistently as prop properly, I guess is one way of looking at it, you get this excess of negative energy, this excess of electrons coiled up in your system, in your body. And people can sense that when they're around you. Without thinking about it, they feel it. You know, it's like the fourth dimension, I think. It's, a, it's that the, the sixth sense. The sixth sense... It's like that feeling of energy, the electrons, the, it's, it's the, the negativity. But then it's also can be construed as a positivity if you release the negativity. It, it's like a lack of negativity becomes positivity. And people can pick up on that too. If you're consistently breathing out, in and out. So the breathing... Let's see, where can we go from here? Huh. 
don't know. I guess like just be in the now and breathe and let people see it. You know, you can't really tell people to do it. You can you can inform people about scientific uh, bio structure, chemical structures and things, but you know you can't make someone breathe. You can give them info like what you're video, man. You got a lot of wisdom, dude, and I'm really glad you're doing this. Uh, really enlightening. I love that. I've listened to three of them so far. Probably do more. Um, but really, you know, us just being here and letting people see us living compassionately is more helpful than trying to tell someone to do something. But you can tell people what you do and why you do it. Energy flow, dude. We're like, and water too. Um, two hydrogens and an oxygen. So two of those molecules, I'm, I'm like, I made so many videos in the last week or so that I, I don't know if I've talked about this yet but and posted it yet, but two water molecules is four hydrogens and two oxygens. And those can be used to apply to two different carbons, and you get CH4, four hydrogens and one carbon, and it creates the methane. And CO2, the two oxygens, combine with the carbon to create carbon dioxide. And that is, I'm looking at the video, it says, we talk too much. I'm thinking, am I talking too much right now? That's a, pl a placant for... It's like, I, I think of it on a graph as like the electrons are like touching tangent, uh, touching down on us and then going back out. But like, it's not really up and down. It's more like, this is what's happening spiritually. If you think of up as outward, it's like coming into us and then out of us. Because you can always send energy. People like doing that. It's fun to watch. People get excited and want to pay money to see how do you send energy? How do you focus it? How do you pl pl place it? How do you blast it? How do you? What do you do? But it's much more healthy to... It's really nice to be able to think, bring it in and pass it out and not have to say it because I can think while I'm breathing. So I can actually... like satisfy my desire for the words, breathe it, uh, bring it in, without actually saying the words, and live what the words entail. That's good. Well, it may have been a little extra extract. That may have been a little extract. I was thinking it may have been a little um, abstract. It may have been a little bit of both. But hopefully it helps. Good to hear from you. Take care, man.